ride before the air show. Rest assured, you will be able to get it after the air show. Ladies and gentlemen, formation takeoff. Here comes Team RV. Here's a pair of RV-8s. There you go. Here's a conventional gear, the yellow airplane. Yes, it is a little bumpy up there, but as aviators, we all learn how to deal with it, and I like to think of it as no worse than typical Pennsylvania potholes. Okay, in a big, beautiful sky like this, you'd think it'd be hard to lose 13 airplanes, but we sure have. Coming in from the left, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Team RV. Get those cameras and camcorders rolling, everybody. Here they come, the world's largest air show team, Team RV. that for precision formation flight and let me tell you it's bumpy up there today so these pilots had their hands full I had the great opportunity and privilege of flying with Team RV on a media flight a couple of weeks ago and let me tell you what it's not as easy as it looks now if you're looking at the Blue Angels they've got fast heavy aircraft Whereas a fully loaded RV like you just saw go by here, that's the fuel load coming back around again from the right. Another photo opportunity. Get those cameras cranked up, everybody. Here's Team RV again. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, it is a little bumpy out there. You will see a little relative motion among the pilots and the planes out there. But here's the beautiful part about it. These are very highly trained professional pilots. They know exactly what they're doing. They have thousands of hours of flight time, and they do a lot of practice. Practice, practice, practice. That's what makes the difference between a ham-fisted pilot such as myself and the great guys of Team RV. They have forgotten more than I will ever know about flying. Now you're probably wondering, what are those three high guys doing? Here come the rest of them by. Looks like they're going to do another pass here. So get those cameras and camcorders rolling again. Now I know you left them on the whole time. And here they come around again. Smoke is on. Look at that. Doesn't that just look fantastic? All those great smoke trails. Fantastic maneuver. This is a lot of fun. You're pulling about two and a half, three G's in that pitch up, and that is a wild ride. They demonstrated that with me not once, but twice. And now 
they're going to do their breakaway. Oh no, it's going to be formation loops. This is going to be a trailing loop, everybody. They said they were just going to go out here and hot dog around a little bit. Okay, that's a half Cuban 8. Let's see if they're going to do the other half. to break away and probably land, if my guess is correct. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. When these people go up and do their air show routine, when one part of the narration, the script that they gave me, it just says, airplanes everywhere. You know what? That works for me. Believe me, you will not know what to photograph or videotape when Team RV is in the air, you would need at least a half a dozen cameras to cover them all. We also have David Windmiller getting ready to go with his airplane here. And in just a moment, I'm sure that Team RV, yes they are, they're setting up to land. Here comes, for your landing pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, Team RV. As a matter of fact, that's Tad Sargent. That stripe's coming in there. I got to fly with him. What a wonderful airplane that is, and what an awesome pilot he is, too. Now, you're noticing they're landing a little long on the runway, and that's to give everybody behind them the proper spacing so that they can safely land here. And as you can see, it is a little bumpy up there, having to make a little bit of corrections there for the crosswind. All right, we're still recovering Team RV here. I understand that Trixie and Slinky are going to check up and see what's going on with Widget's airplane. We understand that CD player is pretty much giving him fits down there. And in just a moment here, another RV. You know, it's really something to try to recover 12 airplanes, well, actually 11. But that's okay, because wait till you see them in the air, the weight is definitely worth it. I like that airplane, the last one that landed there in the U.S. Air Force colors, it's got my initials on the tail of it. It says E.L. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm showing a little ego today. <laughs> no big deal though. 